Here change. for change. What change are you looking for? Change in the economy, change in Guyana, change for youths. Okay, tell me what specifically how you can benefit from change as a young lady from uh, New Amsterdam Barbies. I'll change the unemployment, which is great in New Amsterdam. Yeah, well, I thought um, the PPP government boasts about creating all these thousands of jobs across Guyana, and still I'm unemployed. Okay. And, and, and still, um, I'm on implied 11 subjects. Oh, See? Yeah. Hello. How are you doing? I'm fine. It's a hot day here in Barbies, and you're out here talking about change. Yes. What is this change all about? Better life, jobs creation, and life better life for each and every one of us, even our kids. Okay. So you're saying you don't have jobs and, and no, security? No, I, I, I went to school, get good education, I can't get good job. Right, so I'm looking for change. So why should we blame the government for that? Why should we blame the government for that? Because they're just robbing us our money and they're not giving us the jobs. Paying a lot, a lot of money out and we're here suffering. we, we got to blame them. Are we looking for a change? How, how is AFC going to bring changes? If she can bring a lot of changes to our lives, to, uh, give us jobs, place for us to play, better housing, water security, everything. That's why we're in for the AFC. Are you confident that the AFC can bring back jobs to Guyana? Yes, that's why I'm voting AFC! <laughs> all right, thank you. Well, what's this all about? To wake up the people in New Amsterdam and in country. Wake them up to the political reality. They have to change. They have to rescue this country. And they have to vote AFC. Uh, how will AFC change the lives of these people? Uh, uh, they're pretty much comfortable with the present government. Oh, they don't know better. I know they're not comfortable with the present government. They can't find any jobs for themselves and their children, so they couldn't possibly be comfortable. We are here to tell them that if they won't change, they'll get jobs. If they won't change, they'll get better security. That's what we're here to do. Okay, and um, what is the, um, how favorable is AFC in Region 6? Oh, I think that things are growing in our favor. I think that the work we've been doing over the years is going to pay off. AFC. All right, and um, this is PVP's stronghold. What is your strategy to get these um, uh, most of the Indians to vote, not vote race? I think that the Indians are going to rescue this country. That's what I tell the people in Linden. They are ready for change. They are the ones who are most disappointed in the performance of the PPP. They feel cheated. They feel betrayed. And all we need to do is to harness, harness that dissatisfaction. And that's what we're doing. Um, now, there's a, there's a significant amount of voters in the upcoming election um, who are uh, not, not uh, decided who they're going to be voting for. Uh, do you think um, they may be looking at the AFC? Yeah, we're targeting those as well. In fact, if you look anywhere on the quarantine, you see several empty houses. These are people who have left already. And those who have stayed, many of them are so disenchanted that they didn't vote the last time. They didn't vote the last time for the AFC because they were fooled into believing by the PPP that we were um, an arm of the PNC. They've had five years to know that the PPP and the PNC are the ones who collaborate, that the AFC stands alone. Right. And this time, they're going to vote AFC. I've seen, I've seen some polls talking about AFC getting about 20 to 25 percent of um, the upcoming votes in the elections. Uh, how true is that? And are you expecting to get more than that or is that understating your power? That is understating our power. We have to win the presidency. We are going for an all right, outright win. We're settling for nothing less. And listen, we're saying to the people, we know you're intimidated, we know you're afraid, but guess what? That few minutes in the ballot box, that's all we're asking you to do. Yeah. 
Our vote change. All right. Um, I think that's a great message uh, to vote change. What um, if I'm if I'm planning to vote for the PPP? What would you tell me? Why would you want to do the same thing that you've been doing all the years that have not delivered security for you, that haven't provided jobs for your children, that brought the highest level of corruption in this hemisphere to this country? Why are you rewarding a government that has failed this country? All right, um, there's a new development with the APNU. How does that um, th threaten the AFC potential votes? The fact that the PNC had to change its name suggests to you that they know that it has no credibility and it can build no confidence in the electorate. That's, that says it all. AFC. Justice. AFC. Jobs. AFC. Education. AFC. Security. AFC. Justice. AFC. 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 All right, I'm seeing a lot of people here. AFC. Seems like they're very AFC. confident. Vote they can bring change. jobs. AFC. Vote change. I'm with a young man here. Uh, where are you from, sir? I'm from Sandford Village, West Country, BC, Amsterdam. All right. I see a lot of smiles in your face. Yes, what because is that all about? I'm excited about the rally to see so many people out here and we're all spreading the vibes, the AFC vibration. Okay, so we're just okay. looking forward to support from the public. How loud is that? How loud is the AFC vibration in Region 6? Well, the vibration is very loud. It's very loud. People are feeling the vibes all over the place. Yeah. All over the place, people feeling the vibes. So I've been asking everybody what they're voting for, and they're voting for change. What do you see want to change? Well, I see the, the entire constitution needs to be changed. The way this country is being run needs to be changed. We need more democratic freedom. AFC! AFC! Um, uh, do you, I mean, uh, one of the big issues I know in this region, uh, I've been talking in, uh, with people, has been jobs and um, the security issue. Um, yeah, well, right now... How does that affect you? It affects me terribly because jobs is a major concern for myself and thousands of other young people here in Barbies and Guyana on the whole because without any jobs, you can't be able to provide for yourself. So jobs is a major concern. AFC! AFC! AFC. 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 So will you be voting change? AFC. Yes, definitely I'll be voting change. AFC is my party. How are you going to get other young people AFC. yourself to vote for change? Well, this is a demonstration of bringing people out into the party. When they see this, they feel the vibration and they come on board. So we are here um, in Kanji. Vote uh, here are the change. AFC guys who are... Uh, Pushing change. the message of change AFC. here in Kanji. Vote! Uh, change. Presidential AFC. candidate Timur Dramjatan and other supporters change. here AFC. from Region 6. Vote. I'm going to try to see if I can talk to one of these. Um, AFC. Um, AFC. AFC. Hello, how are you doing, sir? Good afternoon, sir. All right, all right. Uh, what are you, uh, I guess you're enjoying the march here? Yes, I am, I am. Okay, where are you coming from? I'm from Rosal Tong. Rosal, okay. And, um, uh, and what's your name? Michael Hackett. Great, and what is it that you are marching about? What is, what is it that needs to be changed there? Well, I'm marching with the AFC because I want to see a change in Guyana. And do you think that the AFC can bring that change? Yes, I think so, of course. That's why I'm part of this march. You, you feel so? Yes, All definitely. Right. Great, and um, what specifically do you think that AFC can do for you and your family? Well, first of all, the AFC will bring better government to Guyana manage our resources better so me and my family can have more access to Guyanese resources I can benefit like that and not only me but every other Guyanese what's your in, what's in, your profession I'm a lecturer at the University of Guyana you're, oh you're a lecturer oh great so so you're um, n not quite a lot of people on the at that level want to come out in public why would you want to identi identify yourself publicly as an AFC member well, as I said, I want to see change, guy. I'm not afraid of um, standing up with the AFC now because I've been, well, I, I'm getting on in age now. I want to see change, guy. before I, I leave this place. Do you find a lot of people in your circle, uh, teachers and uh, lecturers and professors, yes, of course, um, all, looking to change? Yes, they're all, change? they're all dissatisfied with the present state of social affairs in Guyana. They're all, they want to see a change. They're not satisfied at all with happening in Guyana. Right. They need better salaries, better, better social benefits, all of these things need improvement. And the present government hasn't been giving it for the past 19 years. Now this is a, traditionally a very strong PPP area. How do you see AFC performing in, in Region 6? Well, if you can convince the people that the present administration has done nothing for them, 
I think we, can, we stand a good chance of winning this region. Excellent. There, there are some people who are saying Region 6 about um, uh, that, that AFC could win about 25% of the vote. Is that understating the AFC's uh, potential? No, I don't think so. Perhaps we can even, we can even win 35%, one third of it. Okay, so you're very confident. I'm very confident. And you're, you, you see... I think Barbicians are smart enough to see that we can offer a change. A change that will benefit them. Now, one of the big things that AFC talk about uh, in all their thing is um, it's jobs. How? What is, what's the job uh, situation in Barbies? Well, when our young people come to school, it's difficult for them to find jobs. Very difficult, unless they have lines with, with some party or some government association. Then it's hard for them to find jobs. It's not easy. Yeah. So I guess you're voting change. Yes, I'm voting change. All you the way. Vo you're voting change. You're voting yes, AFC. Yes, AFC, the key. All right, great. All well, thanks a lot, Good. Mr. Michael. Okay. All right, bye. Turn. AFC. Right. Turn. AFC. Vote change. 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 AFC. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's up? All right, all right. You're enjoying the sun or the march? The march is so it's empowering to see that finally Guyana is waking up back to the struggles to free Guyana. What do you personally plan to achieve uh, in this march? What I plan to achieve is to bring out the message of the Alliance for Change that Guyana deserve a change. What, what kind of change are you looking at? We want to change in the way we govern ourselves. There are very bad governance in Guyana under the Jagdio administration. So the first thing that needs to be changed is the way we govern ourselves as a people. We want higher morality in this country. All right, and um, do you feel that the AFC can deliver them that? Yes, the Alliance for Change and their action plan has clearly delivered, said that we are going to have a head of government in the Prime Minister and a head of state in a titular president. And we believe that will give checks and balance to bring back checks and balances to all the corruption that the PPP is carrying on with will stop. Now they talk about, um, the AFC talks a lot about uh, but not voting race yeah. and to vote reason. How do we break that in Guyana? Well, we believe that the young people of Guyana are going to be the, me the messengers to break the racism that the PVP and the PNC pushes in this country. We will break that with the young people and we know it's happening. We're talking to young people on a daily basis and by the hundreds, they're changing. Great, great. Um, and do you feel that the, a the AFC will perform well in the upcoming election? Oh, we're going into this to, for victory. This is the AFC's victory. Victory in 2011 with the AFC. I know you've been walking a lot on the ground throughout Guyana. Um, do you feel that the people have a capacity for change? Yes, the young people have decided that they've had enough of this. They've, they've seen their parents punished and they want to change. Yes, we are going to change. So will you be voting change? Yes, definitely voting AFC. AFC.